every time I, I, I see another nonprofit that's really trying to change the world with that much resources. And there's just so much need. Tariq was my son. He was a student at San Diego State University and worked as a pizza delivery man on Fridays and Saturdays. It was a college job. And he was lured to a bogus address in North Park, not far from where he went to school. And was accosted by a group of four youth gang members. And a 14-year-old uh, shot and killed him uh, over a lousy pizza at the age of 20. Nine months after Tariq died, I founded the Tariq Kamisa Foundation. And our mission is to stop kids from killing kids by breaking the cycle of youth violence. SVP is all about creating better philanthropists. The model is to take small entrepreneurial organizations um, that if, if taken to scale would have significant impact in San Diego. We choose a couple of organizations that are good organizations, but we have the ability to make them great and more impactful in the community. And so SVP attracts men and women from San Diego who have this passion for helping. Well, I enjoy it. I, I meet a lot of great people both within SVP, the other partners are certainly engaged, passionate people and they're fun to be around. Uh, I love working with the nonprofits in San Diego and seeing what they're doing and the powerful work they're doing in our community. So I think that the work that SVP has done and the quality of their partners is pretty amazing. I, I say that, that our partners uh, are, in many cases, are going from success to significance. It's not my line, but I think it's appropriate. Uh, they um, have been generally successful in their own businesses. Um, they're looking for uh, a new purpose. They're looking for a new passion. And SVP provides a vehicle for that. Um, in the last 10 years, we've donated over $19 million in cash and in-kind services to the community. We've created over 330 philanthropists. They are now all on boards of directors and we've taught them how to be effective board members. We know the impact of training philanthropists will have a huge reach in the community. My name is Christopher Yanoff. I'm the founder and president of Reality Changers. And what we do is we build first generation college students in San Diego's toughest neighborhoods. And what we we're hoping to get with SVP is twofold. One, we hope that as we try to build more self-sufficient, productive members of society in the inner city, San Diego Social Venture Partners is helping Reality Changers become a more self-sufficient, productive organization here in San Diego County. And also, uh, we're trying to figure out strategies together on how we can reduce our waiting list at Reality Changers, which has surged over 150 students. And for prospective members, gangs don't have a waiting list, so why should Reality Changers have a waiting list? And that's what San Diego Social Venture Partners is helping us try to solve. So with Social Venture Partners, last year alone we donated over 9,700 hours, and those are strategic high-level volunteer hours in the community. We're building a new senior center, and Social Venture Partners has brought a consultant on to help us with our capital campaign. Um, and again, recently with sales and financials and so many pieces of the pie that we have been able to put together because of the um, partner's involvement in the organization. And of course the cash contribution doesn't hurt, but the contribution of the partners is, you know, three or fourfold of what that could be. And bringing programs to us that we otherwise would not be able to access, seminars and educational opportunities. So it's been awesome. So every year we calculate the leverage based on the money that we, we put into the organization and the benefit we give back to the community. And, and that works out to be um, somewhere between six and 12 times. So we think it's the best investment in town for somebody who wants to be philanthropic. If we teach our six key messages to every classroom in the world, we will eventually have world peace because we will have leaders that will understand from conflict you can create love and unity and not more conflict. Mm -hmm.